All right, guys, so this is a continuation of the biochemistry. Uh, I believe it's video uh, seven. Uh, this kind of focuses in, we're making that transition into glycolysis and eventually into the Krebs cycle, electron transport. If you just follow the process and eventually just learn to tell a story, and you can, and you can still tell the story from phenylalanine getting into Krebs, but you're gonna go down with the, starting at glucose, um, making its way into the Krebs cycle. And if you just know a few of the, the, the pathways um, between then, I think you can make your way through this exam. So, hope you like the video. All right, guys. So it says a 72-year-old male was hospitalized with severe abdominal cramping. Lab work reveals metabolic acidosis with an increased anion gap. Lactate levels are elevated. Which of the following is most likely impaired given this patient's findings? Um, and you see the answer choices: all this lactate dehydrogenase, pyruvate decarboxylase, pyruvate dehydrogenase. So you know you're in the biochem uh, section here. So you just have to, you know, really, you, you just have to kind of know the pathways, but know the basics of the pathways. You don't, you don't have to know every little detail. And here, here's what I want you to kind of just break it down. For the, for 30,000 feet away, you, we want to say that you're trying to make energy, right? So you got glycolysis, which heads to Krebs which heads to electron transport, okay? And so that's the big picture. So now you just say, okay, what's important in this whole process that I gotta know to get these kind of questions right? Okay, well, think about this. We gotta make energy. We start, it, we start with glucose, okay? And this is, obviously, this is glycolysis, just to make it even glycolysis, okay? And we got uh, six carbon. So he comes down. And essentially, he's going to break into two, okay? Two columns. Both of them have a three-carbon unit. Now, we're just going to follow, follow through one, but just think it happens, you know, it happens twice. So you go down here. You know, there's two arrows because there's enzymes all along the way. But long story short, actually, on this first step, what happens is we use 2 ATP. And bear with me on this. You use 2 ATP and you get to go to the next step where they get cleaved, they go apart, we got two, two three carbon units. Now in this one, kind of why I wrote it with two steps like that is because we use some stuff in here in case they ever ask you questions about glycolysis, what gets used, what doesn't. And we're using NAD, which is actually NAD uh, plus. It's kind of important, but we usually just say NAD. Now with this, we make NADH on this step. And then of course we do it twice. And also, we made ATP, okay? And we make ATP on that side as well. Now, that makes glycerol, glyceraldehyde three phosphate. Nobody cares. Um, and then again, on this step, we, ADP makes ATP. ADP makes ATP. So right now, and then eventually this gets us to uh, pyruvate, okay? And we like pyruvate. He's kind of a he's kind of like one of those things where it's like, all right, let's stop right there and and see where we're at. So what do we do so far? Right, we're still in glycolysis, but we made it to pyruvate. Well, we had to use two ATP. Right, we used two ATP thus far. We got one, two, three, four ATP. And this is just for housekeeping kind of purposes on this. Okay, so we used two ATP and we got four ATP. So not, you know, not great, but we're not losing anything right now. But here's the step where I think you gotta, you, you gotta understand this guy right here, okay? I want you to do this. He's gonna go one of two ways, okay? And, we'll, and, we'll, and the main guy, or one of the, one of the reasons for our purposes is oxygen, that's oxygen. Whether if oxygen's present, typically he likes to go this way. If oxygen's not present, typically he might go that way. So if he goes down, okay, if he goes down, he's going to make acetyl, acetyl-CoA, okay? Now, who's going to help him do, do this? Pyruvate dehydrogenase, okay? Know him, okay? Know him. And why do I like him? Because he's one of those, and remember this, tender, loving care for Nancy, right? Tender, loving care for Nancy, meaning to make pyruvate dehydrogenase work to go this way, okay, to make pyruvate go to acetyl-CoA, I gotta have pyruvate dehydrogenase and I gotta have tender loving care for Nancy. Now, what do I mean by that? 
The T stands for thymine, B1. The L, lipoic acid. The uh, C is CoA, pantothenic acid. The F is FAD, riboflavin, or also known as B2. Um, and the N, niacin, B3. Okay, tender loving care for Nancy. I need these guys to help this guy, probably dehydrogenase, go down. Now, say I don't have oxygen or say I don't have one of these guys, right? I can't use him. So what, what happens to pyruvate? Pyruvate says, hey, look, I can't go down. I must have to go this way. And if he goes this way, he's going to be in the presence of lactate dehydrogenase, okay? And what's he going to make? Lactate, okay? Lactate, lactic acid, all that kind of good stuff. Now, what I want you to remember here, here's a take-home point. To make that step happen, he uses NADH, and what did you get out of that? NAD plus, okay? Very important, very important, okay? So right now, what are the things that, and we're still in glycolysis, we're, we're pretty much right at the point of Krebs cycle, but we're still in glycolysis. What do we know? Besides, it's kind of complicated. Glucose, we break it apart, boom, two, three carbons. We go down, two steps. Nobody cares about the enzymes right now. Uh, the, the, the intermediaries. All we care about is, well, we had to use 2 ATP and we made 4 ATP. Okay. We get all the way to pyruvate. Now, all this is done twice, so you have to, you know, uh, obviously pyruvate's over here too. But at pyruvate, here's our big determining factor. I'm either going to use pyruvate dehydrogenase, normally, if oxygen's uh, present and I got tender loving care for Nancy, it'll make acetyl CoA. Okay. Now, acetyl CoA. Now, I missed one step, right? Because acetyl-CoA is two carbons. So what happened here, too? Well, that means I must have released a CO2 because there's a carbon. Remember, it was three. I lost one, so now I'm at two. Acetyl-CoA is two carbon before, before it starts to go into Krebs cycle. So pyruvate, pyruvate dehydrogenase, if it has these guys. Otherwise, it's going to get kicked this way, right? It's going to get kicked to the lactate in the presence of lactate dehydrogenase. What am I going to get out of that? 2 NADH. Well, that's kind of okay, right? Because what's going to happen? I'm going to produce this, and that means I don't go into Krebs cycle where I make better energy, right? I make better, better energy products that are going to go to electron transport and make some really good energy. But if I can't go that route, at least if I go this way, I can make a little bit of this guy and keep the party going, okay? It's not very efficient, but I can keep the party going, at least for now. All right, so with that being said, okay, do I have enough information to answer this question? Well, let's look at it. 72-year-old, severe abdominal pain and cramping, lab work reveals metabolic acidosis, okay? It crosses my mind with an increased anion gap. Lactate levels are elevated. Okay, this is increased. So that means this way did not happen, right? Did not happen. Which of the following is most likely impaired? Now. If they would have had one of these guys, tender loving care for Nancy guys, you know, the B1, lipoic acid, CoA, FAD, or niacin, um, riboflavin, up here on the FAD, if, if one of those was up here, I'd be like, oh, maybe they're deficient in one of these guys. But they gave me enzymes, so I have to know which enzyme, right? Now, which one would be here so it would have went this way? Pyruvate dehydrogenase. So if I don't have this guy, what happens? Everything gets kicked this way. What am I going to have more of? Lactate. Okay? You got to know that first step, guys. And I'm telling you, if you if you write it out a couple times, you know, if you write out a couple times, you'll understand that it's pretty basic. Glucose goes down, right? What did I use? 2 ATP. Now all of a sudden it goes in two different parts. I go to multiply it by 2 then, right? I do this. I draw the arrow twice. And then from this, what happens? You know, I got to use NAD. I get NADH. I also get ATP, right? Second step, ADP makes ATP. Everything was multiplied times 2. So my net is I had to use 2 ATP, and I made 4 ATP, OK? I finally got to pyruvate, and this is where you make your money, right? Pyruvate, so you're going to go this way or that way. He goes down. If it's pyruvate dehydrogenase, usually if there's oxygen, it prefers kind of going that way. I have my tender loving care for Nancy. 
Okay, I need those as cofactors for this. If none of this occurs, he's gonna get kicked this way. Now, if he gets kicked that way, what am I gonna have? Well, it's gonna be, I'm gonna have lactate dehydrogenase. What am I gonna make? NAD, because that keeps the party going. And I'm gonna have lactate, okay? Basic, guys, basic. Do it a couple times and you got it. Now, this question says, which of the following substances would eventually be depleted if there was an impairment of lactate dehydrogenase in an individual with very intense strenuous workout? So there's gonna be little oxygen, right? So, well, we know where this is at. You know, glucose went here, he got broken down twice. Eventually, I make it to pyruvate, where they're gonna probably ask me questions on the test. I know that pyruvate goes one of two ways. If I have py if I have pyruvate dehydrogenase in the presence of tender loving care for Nancy, I go this way. If I have um, lactate dehydrogenase, I can make lactate. Now they're telling you that there would be an impairment of lactate dehydrogenase. So which of the following substances would be depleted? Huh, what did I tell you to know out of this thing, right? What would, well, you know, I said, yeah, there might be a, a you're getting rid of a little bit of a, a, a CO2 and you, you might make a little NADH um, over here, but what did I say that you have to do over here? You use a little NADH, but you made NAD plus. So if I have an impairment of, lac of, of this uh, lactate dehydrogenase, what am I not making? What am I gonna have less of? Well. I'm gonna have less of this. I'm okay with that for right now. Uh, well, because I don't have this guy, but what am I not gonna be making if I don't have this guy? I'm not gonna be making NAD, okay? So if I have an impairment of lactate dehydrogenase right there, I'm not gonna make this guy. If you know the basics of this, okay, the basics of glycolysis, you can answer any of these questions right, guys, okay? Last one on this set says, a three-month-old child with neurological symptoms is diagnosed with pyruvate dehydrogenase deficiency. Which of the following amino acids would be, would be most safe for this child's di uh, diet? Now, unfortunately, this is just a strict, for me, this is a, more of a memorization one. But, you know, I bet you kind of know at least where the pyruvate dehydrogenase is, right? I mean, you're going to get sick of this after a while. Glucose goes down, gets broken apart, goes down twice. You know, we used two ATP here and we made four ATP, but nobody cares about that right now because all, all we care about is what happens here with that pyruvate. Now, if we, ha if we have a deficiency of pyruvate dehydrogenase, what's gonna happen? Well, I gotta, you know, I, I, want this to, I want this process to at least slow down a little bit, right? Because what's gonna happen is it's gonna get kicked you know, it can get kicked this way, and now, you know, everything's, everything's kind of going downhill. So I want this to start to go down. I need, because I'm, I'm not, inherently, I can't go to Krebs cycle um, and make efficient energy. So if I slow this down for right now, I need to reduce what? I need to reduce the uh, sugars. So what amino acids would be the least uh, to, to, to provide this per se out of all, out of, out of all of them or, or which ones um, are not as glucogenic, should you say, you know, or more, more leaning toward ketogenic. And that's why I say it's kind of just a memorization thing for this one, but you got, still got to know the process, right? You got to know you want to stay away from all the garbage. So if you're going to decrease glucose, you want something that's more ketogenic. Now, strict memory, the ones that are uh, ketogenic, okay, the ones that are exclusively ketogenic are going to be leucine and lysine, okay? Both of those are exclusively ketogenic. So let me see here. You got leucine and lysine, which would be answer choice E. The ones that are... Uh, uh, yeah, there's, there's several that are kind of both... Glute there's... there's Five, I think it is, that are uh, ketogenic and glutogenic. You got the phenylalanine, isoleucine, threonine, tryptophan, tyrosine. Don't memorize all that stuff, guys. Too, too much information. Way, way too much information. You just want to know the ones that are ketogenic, okay, because of this issue right here. 
We want to slow the process down because we got a deficiency in pyruvate dehydrogenase. You got to be saying, look, I need a diet uh, that's maybe a ketogenic diet to where the amino acids that would be the most safe would be the leucine um, and uh, lysine. Okay. Hope this was helpful, guys. It's a good. It's a start. Okay. It's a start. Make sure you tell the story. Mm -hmm.